Vicka Boys or Sway and King Tut? Damn, Eric V is in the GGL too. He played with me. He and my crew. They all listen, buddy. I'm gonna go with Baker Boys, cuz. I'm going with that Latino culture. F off. Baker Boys. Boys. Baker Boys. Baker Boys. Baker Boys. Bring Granny back. Good morning. Guys, here we go. Long time no see. What up, Sonic? Bob Zico. Here we go. It's a terrific Tuesday with the Baker Boys and Iron Rose in the building, guys. It was a big, big hip hop. I can't say weekend. Nope. It's Tuesday. The Baker Boys in the building for a terrific Tuesday. The internet is on fire. We're talking about the beef between Drake now with Rick Ross, with Kendrick Lamar, with Jay Cole. I'm going to blame it all on the, on the eclipse. I'm yeah, blame on it. the eclipse. Every, every and start retrograde. going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> every start dissing everybody. So yeah. we're talking about Drake and Rick Ross and what he called him. Yep, and Taylor Swift is releasing the Tortured Poets Department this week. Oh, all right. It's coming up. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it in the Baker Buzz. Yep. Back to the music. This is National Days. What up, Adeline? Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a terrific Tuesday. Did you all know that Selena had her own day? Right. No Today's way. her day. Play yep. your favorite Selena songs and remember the incredible impact that Tijano Gruner had on the music industry in life and beyond life. Yeah, for yes. sure. Yes. Beady, beady, bum, bum to everybody. All right. It's the Baker Boys, and the Baker Buzz is coming up right around the corner with Ari Rose. What are you talking about? This week, Taylor Swift will release the Tortured Poets Department. And I don't know about you, but when you get moms involved, mm. it's serious. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. I think something bad is going to happen with this situation. This whole diss thing going on between Drake, Rick Ross, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. It's just crazy. We'll talk about it coming up at the Baker Buzz. It's 102 Jams. 100% 100 throwbacks. throwbacks. Just enough, pay attention. The uh, Nick wasn't the granny boy. Hollywood and the... All right, guys, it's the Baker Boys in the building for a terrific Tuesday. First, let's get the beef out of the way. All right, so we'll talk about Mr. Rick Ross, yep. who had some certain words to say. And not, not only that did he have words, but he also was trolling Drake. He went on stage the other night performing with a Drake hoodie on yeah. as well. He's really oh. going hard. He's going super hard right now. So evidently, Drake shared a text message between him and his mom. <laughs> And I guess Rick Ross thought he wanted to talk about it, and yeah. this is what he said. Well, his mom brought up Rick Ross first, so let's talk okay, about it. Okay, there let's, you go. Let's, let's play Rick Ross's uh, response. Ah, uh, Cupcake Drake, tell your mama you stayed out past your curfew, white boy. You wanted to hang at the park with the niggas, smoke weed with the niggas, while we washed our old school Chevys. White boy, you got a Chevy, white boy? I doubt it. But anyway, big nose. <laughs> Big nose. Boy, you had 25% body fat with a carved out six piece. Stop. We know what time it is. That shit costs 40 bands. Stop. But tell your mama. Well, in Miami, we say old girl. Tell your old girl she a beautiful lady. I told you that before and I meant that. But you tell your mama, white boy, you stayed out at the park too late. And you can't call her when you get in this shit. This shit too deep to call your mama I white I mean, the boy. man is saying you stayed out past your curfew. Yeah. Called him Cupcake Drake. <laughs> yeah. Talking about his, his mom. Nose, his nose. His six-pack. Talking about his nose. I was like, they're, bro. They're coming for Drake's neck. Yeah. Literally. Bro. All right, so. I think it's going to get ugly. That's it, what I'm saying. It's you, already you, ugly. You don't, I mean, you still, regardless if mom said anything about him, Rick Ross in general, it's like you don't involve mothers ever. But, but you know what? Here, Here's the dummy part of this okay it's the fact that rick ross unfollowed drake because drake did a season uh season season assist assist. on french montana and rick ross didn't like the way drake handled it so this is where all this beef is starting from right it's so lame it's like rick ross mind your business well he's getting involved he's getting in, in the scuffle right now so that's what he's doing right now i mean it's the hottest thing out right now you know the whole diss record between kendrick j cole and then j cole yep. uh responding saying i'm sorry for doing that that was whack and all this stuff and now he's getting involved so he's just stirring up the pot well because now everybody wants to get clout they know that if yep. they go and diss drake yep. their their streamings are going to go out the roof yep. so now everybody wants a piece of it you're going to start seeing you know common chance the rapper all these guys that he's mentioned in some albums before i can't wait till taylor swift comes out with her diss record What's 
What's going on well, with her? Well, this week, Taylor <laughs> Swift will release the Tortured Poets Department. Individual tracks will be available on TikTok despite Taylor's label pulling music from the platform. So I don't know if you guys remember, yep. but, you know, TikTok pulled all the UMG music yep. off. Yep. And so Taylor... Um, share contract guarantees that she has full ownership and control over any music and records so she wants to improve album sales by promoting the tortured poets department on tiktok so she's going against what umg is doing right and she's still going to release it on tiktok okay um, can she do that i yeah. mean if, the, if universal music group is her distributor she has a do a deal with them directly that it's exclusive to them and they have the kind of the rights to, to put the distribute it so does she really own all of her know. rights? It says Taylor's contract guarantees. Wow. Well, that's yeah. a big move right there. All right. Yep. There's yep. a Baker Buzz coming up in the next Baker Buzz. It's going to be you. Yeah. <laughs> the Coachella Weekend Recap. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah, you were watching it the other day. We did watch a little bit, and we'll give you a little insight of what happened if you did not get a chance to see or were not there. Baker Boys Daily. SF Locals. All right. Uh, what do you guys got? You guys anything? Yeah, we're working to you- look. Everybody, look into your locals. All right, look into the right, locals first. Go. I have a conversation. Here we go. All right, fine. It is 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with the Baker Boys in the morning. Your brand new morning show every single day, 6 to 10 a.m. So is there any type of food or restaurants that when you walk by, you just know what it is, even if you are blindfolded? Yeah, the smell. There is a yeah, smell. But what, a scent. Yeah, but what smells would you recognize? Uh, pizza. Un- uh, Eric Vee says pizza. I say onions from in and out Right? That's I feel it. like In N Out has like such a good potent smell. Yeah. yeah, you can smell it for miles. <laughs> like there's an In N Out around here. I can smell yes. it. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can smell the burning meat. Yes, you can smell it. <laughs> the burning meat. It travels for miles. <laughs> well, McDonald's did an experiment to prove that people knew their products just by the smell. Uh, so they have a campaign called Smells Like McDonald's. The company put up billboards in the Netherlands that smelled like fries. Yeah. The red and yellow bi- billboards had no logos or signs, but they were all located 600 Six feet up, yeah, of McDonald's. <laughs> so people could grab fries after they caught a whiff. I got a question, though. How come <laughs> McDonald's doesn't actually smell like the fries and that is the way people come in? That's, that's weird. You can only smell the fries inside. How come we can smell all of the in and out stuff miles away, but we can't smell the McDonald's? They have to put oh, a, a fake no. smell in order to get people to come in there. That, I mean, it's sneaky. It's tricky. It's a great trick. And uh, Are you about to confess something or tell us you discovered something? No, no, no. I'm just oh. saying, you all know that they use the oil over and over, right? Oh, yeah. Like, they'll they'll do, like, a whole week and use the same oil. Dude. That, you know, they that use. That can't be healthy. It's nasty. Certain scents make you hungry, though. Yes, they No do. matter what. Yeah. Onions. Right? Onions. No, not for me. Grilled Hell onions. No. Garlic. It'll, it'll smell like, no, no, I can't do garlic either. So, no. Pizza. Uh, yeah, pizza, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Very simple. Uh, French fries are good, too. French fries? They smell good, yeah. And barbecue. What's your favorite French fries? Oh, yeah, barbecue. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, what's your favorite French fries? Ooh, that's a tough one. I, I've switched over recently to uh, onion rings, so no more French fries for me. Oh, okay. Onion okay. rings are bomb. <laughs> but I will say McDonald's does have good fries when they do put new oil in. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's why you got to get them with no salt. You got to ask them, yeah. You ask them for no salt so they're always fresh. It's still the same oil, bro. It doesn't matter. It's still fresh. It's anyway. <laughs> one or two jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. <laughs> what up, Lewis Smooth? McDonald's hands down have the best French fries. You guys vote in the chat. Who has the best French fries of all drive throughs out there? And Melissa says none of them can put up numbers like Drake. They're jealous. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. Well, you know, they got to go for the top. That's what he said on his diss track. Whoever's on top, you got to go for them. All right, this is 102 Jams. Eric, you start. Got some. Right. 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks on a terrific Tuesday along with Ari Rose, Eric V, and Nick V. Yeah, some people out there are starving, not because they want to, but this one person actually is starving himself. He's a San Francisco business owner, and he's going to great lengths to bring attention to the debate over the new bike lane alongside Valencia Street. Okay. His name is Ayed, and he's going to start a hunger strike after he says that business along Valencia Street have been negatively affected since the protected bike lane opened up in the middle of the street. This is a big argument in the city. This whole bike lane thing. People are upset about him. And this man So is, he's saying the bike lane is stopping business? It's hurting his lane. Look, take a look at the bike lane. It's all cut off. It's in the middle of the street. His business is not in the middle of the street. Uh, actually, I mean, I can't tell from <laughs> where, where this looks Wait, like. Wait, I'm just confused. What does the bike lane have to do with him I, I starving guess, himself? Well, he's trying to bring attention to the fact that- So the he's going to just starve? So he's going to hurt himself? 
He's going to hurt himself, and okay. he, it's being negatively affected by the entire uh, bike lane and all of the businesses along there. He's the only one doing it, but it's a 30-day <laughs> hunger strike. He'll have water and some juice once in a while. All right. Go out and see this man. Like, why not just get 100 bikes and chain them to, like, the middle thing or super glue them there so super then it blocks the bike lane or release 50 cows and just have them right there so no one can use a bike lane? Because he's going to be fined for that, yeah, number he, one, okay. and he'll probably be thrown in jail for that, number two. I'm not starving. I like to eat too much. Not Bruh. doing it. Damn. <laughs> well, what if your business was out there, Ari? I would just find a different I would still have to eat to think right. He's not thinking properly, clearly. I, I don't know about your uh, problem solving skills in this one, uh, Ari. Thank you very Release much. Release some zebras. This is from 102 Jam. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. <laughs> uh, hour number two, top five list. Tell me the day. What do you have news? Uh, what do you have news? Random stories. Uh, I got something right here. I want to go. Baker Boys, Ari Rose in the building for a terrific Tuesday. This might be a good thing. So Instagram is talking about blurring nude images and messages to minors to protect teens. Okay, so we'll discuss uh, this a little more okay. in, de in detail. Coming up. Sorry, I'm just repeating it. To Baker Boys Daily. <sighs> terrific Tuesday. Oh, the Baker boy. Boys and Ari Rose. I don't see how this is going to help. And, but why are their messages being sent to youths with nudity in them in general? Because you know how you get there's scams uh. and there's all kinds of random stuff on Instagram. Don't you get random messages when you go to like your block messages and you oh, all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. And it's always, always half naked the little, women. They always got the little wet juicy emojis yeah, they, everywhere. they got the little drops yeah, yeah. The, the little the water drops, drops. Okay. yeah exactly so in an effort to make instagram a safer place for teens its parent company meta is working on various child safety initiatives in the next few weeks they will be testing a new feature to curb instances of financial sextortion that's oh, what they're calling i got you all right financial sextortion involves scammers convincing victims to send to send to send new pics and then threatening to release them online. Oh. Ouch. Yeah. That's pretty serious. So the social media platform is trying to make it harder for scammers to prey on their victims with the new safety feature, which includes blurring explicit images sent via direct messages and notifying users if they're interactive with their accounts, um, if uh, notifying users if they're interacted with accounts for engaging ex extortion. Something but like that. So they're trying to protect people. But why don't they just do it for everybody? Why are they only doing it for, for teens? For teens? Like, well, I want to be protected. I don't want those. Well, why are you sending the naked pictures to people? I'm not sending <laughs> naked I'm pictures. Saying. I didn't even well, know you could send naked you, pictures. You're an adult. You should know better. Yes. The teens, they probably don't know better. Yeah. Well, still, I still don't want to see this. Well, so, don't go to your DMs, your secret DMs. Then. <laughs> it goes yeah. down in the DMs. The features will be rolled out on select test groups before coming to users across the platform. So okay. I think this is a good thing. No, They're trying to stop thing, this because sure. there are people doing this. Yeah. They are taking pictures. They're taking screenshots, whatever. And they're going to try to use it against you. There are mm -hmm. victims out there. All right. Yeah. So thank you very much, Meta. Appreciate you finally trying to protect our kids. <laughs> <laughs> Baker Boys Daily. It trips me out that they show graphic murders, but then they cancel your comments for saying, bitch, Instagram is crazy. I agree. Yeah, they, they, they pick and choose what they want to block. It's crazy. I got a crappy story. It's the Baker Boys on your. Uh, it's the Baker Boys on a terrific Tuesday, along with Ari Rose. All right, this is bullshit, Eric V. Coming up next, I'm going to tell you why uh, the OJ Simpson uh, plans on blocking payment to the Goldman families. Did wow. you hear about this? No. After his death, we'll tell you all about it. It's bad. It's terrible. I can't believe they're doing this. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Baker Boys Daily on twitch.tv slash the hey guys, Baker thank Boys. You for in. We're recording Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday show. Huh? Do you have headphones on? No. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. You're starting. Yeah. The Baker Boys. It's the Baker Boys on your radio, Eric V and Nick V. Now we all know OJ just passed. Uh, but now the family is coming out saying that they're going to block payment yeah. to the Goldmans, which they were awarded after yeah. you know the whole... Uh, court case. Yeah, although Simpson was acquitted of the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman in 1995, there was a civil court found him liable for the two deaths. You remember that, right? Yeah. Yep. They yep. were ordered to pay him. They were He was ordered to pay $33 million to the victims. He never paid anything. Mm -hmm. He avoided paying most of the money while he was alive, and now his legal team says that they're not going to pay anything either. Wow. Whoa. Wow, right? So how did he avoid paying that though? That's he just the didn't crazy pay it. part. I, I don't know. How I know, he but you know how sometimes like the 
government will come back and and like freeze your account. Well, or if it's the IRS or something, then they're going to just take it. But yeah. it's different. It's uh, I guess because it's a civil case, mm. they can't just take it. They can't just force you to pay it. It's been awarded, but I guess you can't really. Right. I don't know. So Simpson's uh, executor says that he'll do everything that he can to make sure that Goldman's get zero. Wow. wow. Nothing. Malcolm, Laver- uh, his name is uh, Malcolm Laverne. Uh, he called his comments. No, no, that's not his name. Anyway, his comments were pretty harsh, and uh, it was it's a terrible thing. I can't believe they're doing this. Even in death, they're trying to short these people yeah. what they're owed. They're not going to bring back Ron Goldman or Nicole Brown Simpson, of course, not going to be coming back. Right. But you would think that even after the death, you know, they would be able to seize that money to get that money from OJ. Right. Well, maybe he don't have the money. Maybe the family don't have any of it. Who he knows? Has a, he has an executor. That means there's money. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe he's got $2 in there. <laughs> Surprise! You never know. All right. Well, yeah. that's a crappy story. Well. I think you guys should know about they're trying to do that to the Goldman family. Baker Boys Daily. What up, Shotzi? What up, Jay Rose? Thank you for checking in on IG, guys. All right. It's USF Locals. Uh, so oh, let's see here. I have... All right. I got some. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. It is 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with the Baker Boys on the morning. Brand new morning show, guys. Thank you. We still got that brand new morning show smell. Scent, yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was going to say? Car. You know what the other day you were talking about saying that you don't sweat, Ari, yeah. and, and you don't smell, <laughs> yeah. and you don't use deodorant and all right. that stuff. I think one day we may have to do an armpit no, test on I'm you. No, I'm not doing that with yeah. her. Smell what, it. If you no. put your arms up in the air and we both sniff. I'm sure. Scratch and sniff your 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 you armpit. You are not gonna scratch and sniff my <laughs> armpit. <laughs> Just saying. All right. So, have you guys ever heard of the tool, the term kidulting? K- no. Kidulting. Kidult. I'm a kidult. See, so you know what it is. Yeah, I know what it is. You're an adult, adult but you're still a kid at life. Wants to be a kid to s- sometimes. Does that mean you still sleep with uh, stuffed animals or something like that? No, no, I don't sleep with a stuffed animal. Uh, no. What about you? Do you sleep with a bunny or anything like that? Uh, I do have like this little squishy thing my daughter got me. And oh. sometimes I do sleep with it. It uh, just depends. What's the name of it? Oh, yeah. she calls it Meow Meow. Meow Meow. Oh. Yeah, it's a little like cat. It's like a little pillow, like okay. those squishy ones from yeah, Daiso. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, kidulting, right? Let's talk about it real quick. Okay. If there's anything that you could bring back from your childhood to have every day to oh, do. Oh, I already know. Uh, think about that real quick, okay? Coming back after this, Baker Boys Daily, one or two jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. No, Nick, those are good for your back, Shotzi. What's that? The long pillows. Oh. What up, party people? We are the Baker Boys. Thanks for tuning in for this terrific tu- Tuesday. Oh, are we still doing no no days? We are, can't. No, we, it's fine. Are we going to use these? This is for this week, bro. All right. It's not for best of. What up, party people? The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. We're talking about kidults. If you don't know what that is, <laughs> you are an adult, but you are a kid at heart. Yeah. And I was asking a question. If there was anything that you could bring back from your childhood that would bring you joy and just make you feel like a child of good, mm-hmm. what would it be? Mm-hmm. Everybody, do you have anything, Eric? Uh, she's man, a child. I can't think of your any, childhood. You anything had an from your hour childhood. to think about this. I <laughs> didn't think about anything that I didn't sleep with. Any, there was something that annoyed me from my childhood. No, 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 no. That no, I do no, remember. Did you no, play no, with no, like no. a little car? Uh, no, it was an alarm clock. <laughs> oh, oh, oh the Snoop, the Snoop. What was it? No, it was a Mickey Mouse, Mickey alarm, Mouse alarm, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when that son of a B would go off, I'd want to throw everything at it. It would just annoy the hell out of me. I had to set my alarm so I could wake up for school, and it was really annoying. <laughs> but you had a Mickey Mouse alarm. I, how old were you, bro? Uh, she, this was uh, I, I was in junior high before junior high school, so elementary. Elementary. Yeah, it was elementary school. Mm. Are you sure? I you remember like the damn alarm? School. You li- you slept in the same room with me, fool. I don't. So that, then it was you your alarm too. Yeah, yes. but it didn't so bother yeah. me that much. I'm gonna find that sound and play it one day for you, so you can see how annoying and it you is. You know, he will find the sound too. <laughs> and Ari, we're talking about your childhood. If there's something you could bring yep. back from your childhood, what I, would it be? I had a Raggedy Ann doll, Aww. and she was like three, four feet oh, long. She was she was like she a, was like a three foot long Raggedy wow. Ann doll and she had like a little flat face with little button eyes, but she was so cute and I would sleep with her. And then I remember when I wouldn't get like to stay up late or finish my movie or get my treat, I would cry and so there would be all these little tear stains on her oh. face. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Somebody said Incredible Hulk uh, Stretch Armstrong. I remember that. That's fun. Yeah, I remember that too. Oh yeah, for oh, sure. Wow. So, so right. yeah, those are some things that I would definitely you want to have back well don't lose that kid inside of you baker boys daily 102 jam 100 percent throwbacks all right this is uh wake up eric i'm up <laughs> fool i'm doing i slept oh, with a fuzzy bus. pillow 
Eric, do you sleep with a doll, possibly a blow up doll? No. Okay. I don't even have a blow up doll. <laughs> All right, Baker Bus, here we go. All right, we, yeah. All right, it's our number three party people. That means it's time for the Baker Buzz. Yes, on a terrific Tuesday. All right, the first weekend of Coachella is officially wrapped up, and there were some high points and some low points. We'll yes. talk about them, I'm sure. And Mariah Carey is off the market, apparently. And I'm going to tell you who she's dating. Oh, boy. Oh, great. I bet she's way under her age. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just going to guess. Don't get mad because you're not dating her. I don't, don't want to. D- believe me, I don't <laughs> want to date Mariah. Baker Boys <laughs> Daily. It's his birthday. I said, I got that. All right. All right. Guess what? It's party. Guess what, party people? It might be your birthday, but you're sharing a birthday with who? Well, Selena, of course, because it's Selena oh, yeah. Day. Oh, I Selena's. love her. Yes, yes, yes. Let's yes. all do the washing machine today. Show me how to do it. Okay. I was literally going to try to show you what I was sitting down. <laughs> this radio. It's the Baker Boys, Daily, Nick V, and Eric V, Ari Rose in the building, coming straight ahead. Weekend number one of Coachella is finally in the books. I did not go, but I got a chance to see some stuff, and we have a little recap for you guys. Yeah. Well, Mariah Carey might be off the market, or she at least definitely has a friend with benefits, and he is a rock and roll Hall of Famer. Oh, well, he, he, <laughs> I'm keeping you guys in suspense. Maybe that's why. <laughs> she's not. He's not underage then. Yeah, I guess uh, not. He's a Hall of Famer already, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can't be underage Hall of Famer. So that's coming up. 102 Jam. 100 throwbacks. throwbacks. We need to get your headphones cracking, Eric V. Why? Just because it's just better. We specifically said beyond. We specifically said no. It is time for your Baker Buzz party, people. We do it twice a show, hour number one and hour number three. All right, so we are talking about the recap for Coachella. No, we're going to go with Mariah Carey first. Oh, well, why Why did you decide that? We went like this. Yeah. You pointed at me and I went like this. You didn't look. Okay. All right, <laughs> let's do it again. Okay. It's the Baker Boys on your radio. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. Now we're talking about Mariah Carey evidently is uh, hooking up with somebody. She's yes. in love. And a Hall of Famer. Yes. So apparently Mariah Carey is hanging out with Lenny Kravitz. What? Oh, bro. <laughs> yes. Bro. Downsides. Now, come on, Lenny. That's Lenny. A, that's a backwards move for you, Lenny. That's a backwards move. Come on. We care for you, honey. <laughs> you deserve better. So the most recent Dumois podcast gossiped about Mariah Carey and Damn. Lenny Kravitz. Those two are either dating or at least at, at the very least, friends with benefits. Mm. A source told Dumois that Mariah first hooked up with Lenny in November. Things heated up in December. According to this anonymous insider, Mariah has dated Lenny since the start of the year. And just last weekend, they enjoyed a dinner date in Los Angeles. Well, I'm happy for them going to dinner together, but I don't think that's a good couple. Well, they've been... Oh, yeah. Well... What do you uh, think? Do you think it's a good couple? Um, Can you really see Lenny Kravitz uh, with Mariah Carey? No, he's like too hot. Right? Yeah, he's like too hot, too <laughs> swaggy, too hip, too like rock and roll. He's too fine for her. Yeah. Come on, let's. let's she got. She got bodies. Did you just say a man is too fine for a woman? Totally. <laughs> yeah, like he's hot. Yo, like he's yo, like swaggy. If like he's I could dripped. be any man, it would be Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, he's drifted swag. Wow. I'd be rocking my leather, tight leathers. Come on, homie. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, you, you can do it still if you want. Why you don't know? we put you in some leather, Nick? Oh, my baby. You can be Manny Kravitz. Oh, my God. <laughs> Manny Kravitz. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about Coachella. All right. A lot of people were performing for there. Yeah, so yeah. I did not watch it, but I did you know, see a little bit of on YouTube. The headliners <laughs> for me were just not the greatest. Let's talk mm-hmm. about it. Lana Del Rey, she came out. She did a great job. She also brought out Billie Eilish, which was a great moment. Yep. Uh, Tyler, the creator, good for him. Underground rapper from Los Angeles. Yeah. Congratulations to him. Doja Cat, also another underground rapper from Los Angeles. If you don't know, Doja Cat started off in the underground freestyle scene. Yeah. She mm-hmm. paid her due. A lot of people don't even know that, but also, no doubt, reuniting uh, on stage. That was the- probably something I would wa- want to yes, see. Yes, it was because, so dope. You know, no doubt was really, really super dope back in the early '90s, obviously. Mm-hmm. And you know, this was a thing for her. She had to really prepare for this because she hadn't sang those songs in years. Oh she yeah, sounded great. The entire band was back together. I mean, she jumped on the shoulders of Tony, her ex uh, boyfriend from well, back she, in the day. She supposedly slow danced with him. Oh, that's which is be- weird. Well, I, I mean, if I was married, her, I feel kind of like why why are you doing that bro oh come on come on 
She, you're talking about her husband. Yeah, uh, she's married Shelton, now. Right? Right. Sheldon, right? Yeah. Blake Shelton. All right. Well, anyway, she did a great job. They all came out. So uh, there was one uh, low light for me. I tuned in and as DJs, Eric V, and I thought about it because I said some pretty um, bad things about Grimes. She ran into some te technical difficulties oh. during her set, and she eventually threw her headphones down and apologized on stage while she was mm. trying to go through her issues. And I do remember as a young DJ having technical issues, right. and it's hard to deal with it's very terrible mm. especially being in that front that yeah. kind of crowd and especially when you're like excited for your moment yeah for sure so mm. um i kind of take back some of the bad things i said about her on stage <laughs> well, because <laughs> i feel for her as a dj uh. and i understand what that feels like i don't want that anybody to have to go through that well she could have avoided any anything like this she should have just got naked like na like doja cat eric did, and it would have been fine bro she was not <laughs> naked first of all she had on a sheer i know leotard. i know you know anyway, how, so you she, know how they sensationalize Sh stuff. Shakira yeah, popped sure. up, Kesha popped up, Justin Bieber and Jaden Smith were spotted spotted behind the scenes, bro man scene. Yeah. Yeah, there's a video going around. There's a that. lot of kissing and hugging there. Hey, bro, there is your uh, Coachella <laughs> roundup right there for weekend number one, Baker Boys Daily. Please get some info for us, Baker Boys. What up? Uh, what up, AJ? It was a big scuffle backstage. No one's talking about it, Coachella. Uh oh, no, Ooh. we didn't hear about that. I didn't hear about that one. All right, I got something. This is an SF local. All right. Eric? Yep. It is 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with the Baker Boys up early in the morning. Thank you for tuning in. Now, we love, our, or me, I do, love myself a good cheeseburger and fries. Mm, okay. All me right. Too. This is sad news, unfortunately, though. There's Ugh. a treasured Bay Area burger joint closing after nearly 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> The hamburgers and garlic french fries, Great American Hamburger and Pie Company in yeah. Richmond is slated to permanently close. Go and get Aww. your burger before they close. It's been a tough week for the owners, George and Helen, who plan to close their restaurants at 35 East Richmond Avenue. So um, if you ha if didn't get a chance to get your yourself a burger out there, we're sorry about that. But thank you for 40 years of service. Did you say get your shit together? <laughs> you said get your shit. Go back to the thing, Nick, please. <laughs> You said get your shit. So um, if you ha if didn't get a chance to get your shit yourself a burger out there, <laughs> we're sorry. I did. I I, yourself. To get you your shit get yourself your shit. a shit. I know, but I corrected. Get your shit yourself okay. a burger out there. <laughs> shit. Go back to the thing. I, I heard that. I was like, what? Did you say get your shit together? You just didn't say anything. But thank you for 40 years of service. All right, Ari, just end this uh, 102 Jams. Uh, 40 years of service. It's 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. Right about the uh -huh. Both of them. You got to do both of them. Well, you guys did it, though. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I got it. Moving on. All right. I got something here. Yo, what up, DJ Live? Wow. SF Local, guys. How you confuse shit with the burger. He's got one. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's the Baker Boys in the Morning 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Hey, guys, I'm a snacker. What is your choice of snacks? Uh, oh, but, man. All right, all right, all right. This is easy. For me, it's going to be either fruit or uh, nuts. Yeah. Fruit or nuts. Uh, but if I'm feeling really naughty, it's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> really naughty. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be dark chocolate with almonds in the middle. Mm. Oh. What about you, Ari? Uh, my snack right now is a slice of gluten-free bread toasted with peanut butter... <laughs> Nick, are you trying to make yourself throw up? I, I, With uh, peanut butter spread, uh, sliced bananas, a little oof. bit of strawberries and blueberries, and then honey drizzled on top of it. Honey that, drizzled on top. That's a whole lot of snack right that there. That don't That's sound very good to me. It's so good. <laughs> oh, right. my God. So why I'm asking about snacks, because a cert, your snack can reveal things about you. Your so personality. Your, your personality. Uh, so great. whether you're a chips or dip person or one, who, or one who prefers spicy foods, yeah. the mm. snacks you like best say a lot about your personality so research finds that those who like salty snacks like chips and pretzels tend to be impulsive and seek out new adventures okay, okay. salty snacks all right and those who prefer prefer sweets which would be me i, I like sweets maybe insecure and looking ah! for approval no! from other people no! <laughs> i don't need your approval Eric, that's i will true. just take this snack to the head fool <laughs> While those who snack on fruit are most open, uh, most likely open and creative. Hello. So there you go. Yeah, okay. I like that. It works for us, right? So what do you think about that? The I, science proving it's true. this. It's true. You, All right. You, you think Eric's insecure? Yeah, totally. <laughs> I, there's certain things in my life. Yes, I am. When's the last time you seen him snack in public? Oh, 
I, I mean, I sniff <laughs> all the time. I'm like, well, he ate with me last yeah. night. I oh, said, I got we. I got to tell them about. Okay, hold yeah. on. Hold okay, on. tell us about Eric V's adventures at the yeah. dinner table yes. later on. Maybe next hour. Baker Boys Daily 102 Jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. All right, this is churros. Oh, AJ loves pretzels. Actually, For me, it's my neighbor. She a snack. Damn, Barber. Ooh. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Good neighbor. Since we just extended that, we're yep. going to go ahead and extend it into hour number four. This is going to be our first uh, and second oh, break. Okay, what are we talking we'll about? The adventures the, the, at the dinner table. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Baker Boys, Nick V, and Eric V, the two brothers from the same mother, same dad, so we don't get mad. Yep. Also, there's a third <laughs> sister in here, and her name is Ari Rose. She is mm-hmm. a new yes. part of our show. Uh, Ari gets a chance to actually. Get intimate time and go to dinner with Eric. A lot of people. He won't go to dinner with a lot of people. Well, first of all, you won't go with me. That's you, not you, true. You don't always go with me. So, you're like, com- you don't want to go. I try. Well, I don't even invite you because I know you're you're busy Aww. with your wife. You know what I mean? Coming up next, Ari's going to give us an insight inside dinner inside. with Eric V. Yes. Stay oh, wow. tuned. Baker Boys Daily. Baker Boys Daily on Twitch.tv yes. slash uh, The Baker yeah, Boys. Yeah, sure. All right, guys, it's the Baker Boys in the building for a terrific Tuesday. Ari Rose, our new co-host, gets a chance very often <laughs> to go and have a dinner or a lunch or something, never breakfast, yeah. with Eric Oh, v. no, that's too no, early. always dinner. But you guys get a chance to really sit down and have some nice chats. I could literally sit and order everything for Eric. That's how well I know him. You know his menu. I know his menu. I'm very menu. simple. Yeah. I like what I like. Like, you if we go I mean? to Cheesecake, it's going to be a passion fruit iced tea. Yeah, yeah. see? She already knows. Bread. About four of them. Wait, bread. Yeah, at least but four. <laughs> bre- yeah, four. You're right. And four and one to go. Um, Always. Bre- bread, no butter, yep. with oil. And he's going to do a pizza with no pepperoni. Okay. That's his go-to. Just cheese. Just cheese. Which he hates. But he doesn't like cheese. <laughs> And then we'll get a strawberry shortcake dessert that we share. Oh, yes, that's nice. And then if we go to our other second place that we like to go to, yep. Marmalade Cafe, yep. um, he's gonna do the meatloaf, and he's gonna do iced tea. But this is a funny part. We went last night, and I said, "Oh, we gotta get their um, what was it? The uh, what is it called? The bread put? Not bread pudding. Um, oh my gosh, you forgot? Well, oh, uh." I know what you're talking about. I, I know, but I want to... No. Butter cake. Butter cake. Butter cake. Okay, so I said, oh my God, we got to get the butter cake. So I had had just crab cakes, right? We're almost done. I'm done with my two little crab cakes. Literally came out like this. That's what I had for dinner. And he had this huge plate of meatloaf and mashed potatoes and green beans. Yeah. And I said, oh, I want dessert. And he immediately just stops eating. And then he's asked for a to-go box. I'm like, oh, like you're not going to get... I thought we we're gonna get dessert. You're full, and he's like, "No, that's why I stopped eating." So I, I had to stop eating. Gotta keep room. <laughs> yeah, he's got to save some for later and yeah. save room yeah. in his belly for that but, butter cake. Yeah. And see, what saved me is when I did that. So the next day, I was doing a mix at one o'clock. Right, I didn't have time to go eat. So guess what? Dun, I had my leftovers, yep. just Meatloaf. enough to hold me over to get through that mix. Yep. And then if we go to Islands, he's gonna have his uh, chicken sandwich yep. with uh, no sauce, split in half, barbecue sauce on the side. See, she's been, she's been a couple of my yeah. places with me. All right, ladies. So if you hear the description of your new man and what he likes Kidult. to eat, <laughs> the Kidult, also known as my brother Eric V, he is <laughs> available, simple. he is single, yes. and he's ready to take you for a burger. Yes, he's <laughs> or, ready to have French fries and allow you to dip it in his barbecue hey, sauce. Come, slow Whoa, down. Really? Like, <laughs> slow down. And he will share a dessert with you. A dessert, yeah. Yes, he's really great at sharing dessert. All right, so inquire But he within. doesn't share food. He doesn't share food. No, no, no I don't like no. that. Really, Eric B? No. It not. took him like two years for him to share a slice of pizza with me. Yeah. So now I appreciate it. Now now you know you're in yes, the friend. Yes, I'm in the friend zone. Okay, sure. cool. Oh, one or two jams, 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. It's not one or two jams. Oh, what? That was, that was Oh, okay, just my fault. I thought it was. It's okay. No, I told you guys we're going to extend yeah. it into hour number four. That oh, was our first two breaks. For a burger. sandwich with mushrooms. What? All right, so inquire for I took him like two years for him to share a slice of pizza with me. Yeah. So now I appreciate it. One or two jams, a funk music, Dayton, Ohio. In yes, the friend I'm plays in Zap the and friend zone. Okay, sure. cool. Gonna record at the ending. Make a boys daily. Yeah. I got it. Oh, now you know you're in yes, the friend. Yes, I'm in the friend zone. Okay, sure. hit cool. Eric V in the DM if you want to date him now. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got to tune into my mix on Friday, keeping it uh, twelve hundred. Uh, what do we have next? Um, two SF locals. Hold on, baby B. I shot you wait, out. Wait. No, actually, we have another. Um, Basic bitch break, anything goes. Oh, uh, random? Yeah, it could be what the F, dummy of the day. I, I have some. Let me see here. Um, I got something. Oh. I got something here. Here, here, here we go. Are we doing a setup? Yes. Okay, got it.
Let's go. What's up, party people? The Baker Boys on a terrific Tuesday in the building. Yeah, man. Shout out to Baby B tuned in right now. Also, Corny Jokes tuned in. Hey. All right. So everybody loves, well, not everybody loves their job, but evidently 41% of Americans would take a pay, uh, a pay cut. Yeah. For a pet-friendly job. Sounds like fun. 41% is a lot. Let's get into it. I love my pet, but 41% is a lot to take a pay cut. We're going to talk about that coming up. It's 102 Jam. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Oh, shit. Okay, so I'm going to move that tease. Because let's do uh, two (laughs) SF locals here. Two SF locals, guys. <laughs> Are we okay. paying that off? Yeah, actually, that was the, that's the end of the show um, break. So we'll, oh, so that'll be the last break. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So uh, do you want to do the payoff now? I mean, let's no, do no, the no. SF locals first. No, we could do we could do SF locals. Okay, let's do it. Uh, okay, I got some. All right. Good morning, Bay Area. The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. One or two jams. One hundred percent throw biz X. So Ari, you got mm-hmm. your new dog coming. Is she's yeah, coming? Yeah, right? she's coming tomorrow. All right. So I got some tips for you. Okay. All right. When you're walking your dog, make sure to let her sniff. Yeah. Okay. Gotta let them sniff because they're getting mental stimulation by sniffing. Constantly really? sniffing everything on the ground. Yes, they're getting it's exciting them. Oh. Yeah, sniffing is a beneficial sensory experience for dogs by providing them with mental stimulation. Yeah. Plus, uh, how how dogs get updated on their surroundings. So knowing mm. familiar smells. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So recognizing other dogs and so be prepared to let them sniff while you're oh, walking. That's really good advice. Right? But, but how much is too much sniffing? It's like, man, come on, you sniffed that already. We've already been down this block. How many times <laughs> do you want to sniff the same thing, homie? At what point do you say, we got to go? I mean, I don't know. How patient can yeah, you be? Yeah, how patient can you be? <laughs> I mean, with you can't your stop dog. the dog from sniffing. No, I mean, of course. you can pull it away from whatever it's sniffing, but it, yeah. it's annoying sometimes, though. Uh, <laughs> You'll see. Well, You'll this is why you have a dove. I do have a dove. Yeah. Do you I, walk her? No, no, you don't walk don't the dove. Walk she the walks dog, herself. Dove. You know, Uh-oh. the funny thing about my dove, hold on. Actually, I'll tell you about my dove a little bit and how special she is. Baker okay. Boys Daily, 102 Jam. 100% so throwbacks. I fucked that one up. Sorry. Eric, V start? Yep. It's the Baker Boys in the morning on a terrific Tuesday. 100% throwbacks. Baker Boys. Yeah, 102 Jams here. We're talking about dogs and walking them and allowing them to smell the roses yeah. because mm-hmm. this is how they get updated and this is a big part of their existence, right? And you asked a question about my dove. Yep. And you said, do I walk the dove? And Which was a really silly question because you don't walk a, do- uh, a, a bird. <laughs> what if she had like a little leash and like a little rope? Then, you know, She'd be so actually, cute. Actually, some people cut the wings <gasps> they clip them of, of birds so they can't what? fly they away That's yeah not nice. it's not nice anyway my bird has her wings she can fly very effectively but she chooses to walk around the house really she is tapping on you hear her, her feet tapping tap 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 tap, tap yeah tap, 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 just oh walking. my god how cute and tell us again how, how you found her uh she was actually uh, a, she's rescue, a rescue right? she's a rescue dove my wife found her uh she was working and somebody that she was working with actually had dovela she rescued her a lot of uh, birds get rescued by this one lady i forgot really? her name my wife's in the chat if you could tell me her name carrie is her name and she always had birds that come to her house so she might have been a bird in a past life oh. and they there's a safe haven for birds around her home so she's always oh. You know, um, she might be a, a drug dealer for birds. No, stop. That's why they Wait, keep coming so to the is house. It, is, it, <laughs> is it common for birds to just be left to roam around the house like that and walk no, around the house? No, definitely not. Wild okay. birds don't do that. But she's a special She's a special one. She, Doves are known as wild birds? Well, they're in the wild. Oh. Yeah. You know, they're born in the wild. They live in the wild. They die in the wild. You know, they're not yeah, yeah, yeah. captive, yeah. you know. Like I mean? parents that no. they put in cages or something. Yeah, and that's terrible. You know, putting birds in a cage or anything in a so cage. Does she have a cage? She though? does have a cage for outside when she goes outside so she can get her son because she needs to sunbathe. Oh. She's being protected. She's too, being from protected the, the at cat. all times. And the, there's a cat that tries to get her. There was a cat. There, there's hawks. Of course, they'll land right there outside, <gasps> and they'll get them out of the cage. Be careful. Yeah, no hawks will way. suck them right out of the cage. No. Yeah, it's dangerous. It's sad as well. Whoa, that's crazy. A little bit about my dove right there. One or two jam. Hundred percent throwbacks. All right, so this is the payoff, Eric V, for what you did earlier. All right, all right. Nick all right. and Eric V. And read the story again, because Melissa uh, says that you might have. Um, Promoted Sorry, it wrong. It's 41%. Uh, 41% percent of Americans would take a pay cut. Yeah. That's what I said. Okay. Nick and Eric V, take it away. Nick V, Eric V, Ari Rose in the building. It's a terrific Tuesday. 41% of Americans says they would take a pay cut if 
They had a pet friendly job. Like what? What does a pet friendly job Being look like? Being able to take your pet to work. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Or a pet friendly, pet friendly environment where you could take your dog. Maybe like they have a little doggy day, daycare. Yeah. Or something like that. Okay. So they can be around their pets. Yeah. So. The animals really uh, elevate the emotions. Yeah. Uh, of everybody that they, you know, come in contact with. Well, and yeah. I guess it makes sense. Cause like, thank God I'm pretty flexible and I kind of come in and out of the house most of the day. So for my pup, when she arrives, like, you know, I'll be around her for a good amount of the time but it's like the i saw this um i went into this pet store and then they have like you know the ads for like dog walkers yep and i thought wow that's like so i took the number just in case i ever needed, you know needed yeah. a dog walker or whatever yeah. but i thought about it and i said that must be really expensive if you have to work like you know you leave All your house day. at seven to yeah. be there at eight to get off at five get home at six like mm-hmm. you would probably need to be paying these dog walkers they're about 25 bucks an hour Ooh. but you know that's 125 a week that's 500 a month yeah so that dog walker is clocking dough exactly so <laughs> if i could have my dog at work yep. then that would cut some costs yeah. nearly a third 31 percent of pet owners have considered le- leaving their job so they can have better care for their pet hmm. according to a new survey so it finds that another 60 percent Think about leaving their current job of a way of being able to pay for their pet or to, to care for their pet. So nice. people want to be with their pet yeah, and, and be in a pet friendly environment. 41% is a lot to take a pay I'll cut. I'll let though, you bro. know next week if <laughs> I would take a pay cut <laughs> for my dog. That's going to wrap it up for the Baker Boys Daily. Have a beautiful, blessed, and powerful day. We'll be back tomorrow for Wonderful, Wonderful Wednesday. Wednesday. Peace, y'all. Yep, yep. All right. You had uh, one. I'm gonna, I didn't have one. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this uh, 41%. All right. I forgot. Uh, I totally don't agree with that. Crazy, uh, corny ass says. <laughs> right. With your daily yeah. fix of fun. Nick V, Eric V, the Baker Boys, a little insight inside of my rescue dove and how we love her so very much and she's a part of our lives. And 41% of Americans said they would take a pay cut for a pet-friendly job. I love my pet, but 41% is a lot of money, bro. <laughs> Come on. Well, hold on. See, that's what she's talking no, about. No, it's 41%, 41% it's not a- of people. Not You're not cutting your salary by 41%. 41%. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Boys, with your daily fix of fun. Baker Boys in the building. I'm going to be talking about my rescue dove. Her name is Dovla, and she brings so much love and light into our life. And would you take a pay cut to have a pet-friendly job? Well, evidently, 41% of Americans said they would. Oh, boy. That's crazy. Daily fix of fun. 102 jams, 100% 100 throwbacks. throwbacks. Tune in this morning if you guys want to know a little bit more about my rescue dove. Our rescue dove, her name is Devla. She lives with us and she flies freely in our home. Does she have her own Instagram page? She does, but it got canceled. It got canceled for some reason. Uh, She got blocked? Not enough activity. (laughs) Too much nudity, they said. (laughs) And 41% of Americans would take a pay cut for a pet-friendly job. Wow. Mm. 102 jams. 100% 100 throwbacks. throwbacks. Tune in this morning, baby. 15 minute breaks with my dog would be great, Panda says. That's what's up. There yeah, put your go. names, uh, your dog's names in yeah, the chat. Yeah, dog's names in the chat, man. Represent those puppies. Break one. Mm-hmm. Extremely crazy. Okay, getting rid of stories. Deleting stories now. Hey, what up, uh, LA Susie? Welcome. What up, Just Pray? Uh, just Pray It? Yep. Gonzo, what up, man? Uh, getting rid of stories, guys. Then we're going to be moving on to Wednesday. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're just tuning in for the very first time, we're, we're doing, doing a radio, radio show. show. It's, it's called Baker Boys, Boys Daily. Daily. It's me, Nick, Ari, and, and we're nationally syndicated, syndicated on over 30 radio stations around the country every day. So um, some cities you can hear us all in is L.A., Miami, San Francisco, Las Vegas, we got a bunch of other cities in between. Please bring your radio show, show to the ATL. We would love to be on in the ATL, man. We'd love to. Hey, we have friends that live out there. Our friend Vinny over there, he lives over there. And we know a lot of people out there. So uh, what, what station are you listening to out there right now? Because I know, I mean, they have a bunch of stations in Atlanta, bro. So, um, all right. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the next Baker Buzz. So we got to pick up a story. We already did Coachella wrap up. Do you guys want to hear about, um, let me see here. Drake being dismissed from the Astro World class action lawsuit. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think about that? Or do you want to hear about Quavo with a new diss track to Chris Brown? <laughs> These motherfuckers. Uh, where can I hear you? What city are you in, L- uh, Susie? 
let me know what city you're in and I'll see if we have something there uh, close to you. Uh, when it was LA in 2000 and my wife, I love the Baker boys, granny show. <laughs> oh man. Rest in peace to Rico Wade, man. By the way, ATL. Yeah. Rico Wade from the dungeon family. Yeah. Rest in peace. Adela- where is Adelanto? Where, where is that at? Do you know what city Adelanto is? Adelanto. Adelanto. No. <clears throat> I don't even know where that is, girl. Adelante means let's go. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know where that is. Tell right, me. Wednesday. Here we go, High desert. Oh, okay. So, uh, 104.7. You should be able to get us on old school 104.7. Or it might be a different dial number over there. Old school. Oh, oh yeah. Granny. Granny okay. was cracking. Okay. Wonderful Wednesday. It is a wonderful Wednesday. The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Coming straight ahead, we have a Baker buzz for you all. Yep. Justin Timberlake apparently is getting the band back together. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we're talking about Drake being dismissed from the Astro World Class Action Lawsuit. Oh, boy. We'll talk about that. It's all coming up in the Baker Buzz just around the corner. It's a wonderful Wednesday. We're the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Yeah, I believe it's five to nine, uh, Susie. It's the Baker Boys in the building. What's cracking? It is National Cheese Ball Day. What the Ooh. heck is a cheese ball? Yeah, you, can you explain it? A cheese that? ball. Just you like ever a had ball a cheese of cheese? Ball? No. It's like a cheese puff, a Cheeto puff. But okay, it's a well, that's ball. different. That's a, chief, that's a cheese puff. No, yeah. there's a cheese ball. Cheese oh, balls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are dangerous. Stay away from those. They're so yum. I'm yeah. sure they probably will. They melt in your mouth, right? Yeah, but I'm sure. Well, no, I mean they're like they're crunchy, but you yeah. can put them in your mouth and let them melt. And that color's dye, right? Yeah, that's so, dye. It's yeah. all so we already know. <laughs> so it's not good for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a terrible day. But have a so good cheese ball day, guys. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful. <laughs> Thank you, Lu- uh, Susie. I'm going to shout you out so you can hear it. This what's, will be on Wednesday's show. What's up, party people? The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Baker Buzz coming straight ahead, Eric V. Yes, indeed. Dis- uh, Drake is dismissed from the Astro World class action lawsuit where mm-hmm. 10 people died. Whoa. And Justin Timberlake is apparently getting the band back together. Yep, I'm talking about In Sync coming oh, back. Oh, wow. Why? 102 Jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Baker Buzz. From Hollywood and the. It's the Baker Boy. This is a Baker Buzz. Yeah, we'll Baker do it later. Buzz. I'll start. I'll start. It's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a for a wonderful Wednesday. Yeah, got to shout out L.A. Susie tuned in right now. So we'll talk about your Baker Buzz, Ari Rose. What do you got? Yeah, so apparently Justin Timberlake is getting the band back together. Okay. You guys heard right. NSYNC might be coming back together for Trolls Band Together and his new album. Uh, this was Justin Timberlake's idea. He claimed to be inspired by some sort of outside force. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the new kids on the block dropping a new album. <laughs> I, I don't think that forced them to do it. What then what? I don't what? know. What? That is so funny. I wonder. I mean, you do, might be onto something. Can anybody name a an in sync record? Anybody? Oh jeez. Bye bye bye. <laughs> bye bye bye. Isn't that a song? <laughs> yeah, bye yeah. bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. job, Eric V. Yeah. Right. Well, speaking to the Broken Record podcast, Justin reveals that having his old pals appear on the song was faded. He says there was something in the F- e- What's that? How you say that? Ether. Ether. So he says there was something in the ether again. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Sometimes these decisions get made and you feel like there's somebody tapping you on the shoulder to say, like, what if you did this? And right. I feel like when it's so loud, it's a moment to say, what if we did? All right. Let's give him a round of applause. Let's Let's give the best. Back Maybe together. it was his spiritual guide from the from the other side. It was Prince yeah. saying, hey, get that team back together. <laughs> Prince? Yeah. He's like, I'll produce it from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So let's talk about Drake. He's been cleared of all claims in relation to the Travis Scott Astroworld festivity, tra- mm. festivity, festivity, festival travel. Shit, I can't talk. Festival tragedy where ten people were, you know, died and numerous injuries due to the crowd rush on the cl- on the stage. So Drake claimed he had no involvement or planning in organizing the event. Only made a brief surprise appearance. So over mm. fifteen hundred lawsuits had been filed, with some already settled. Scott and Live Nation are facing these lawsuits still, and uh, while Scott is attempting to unsuccessfully to avoid liability, the first wrongful death trial is scheduled for uh, May sixth. 
Oh, so wow. Let's keep uh, track of that stuff going on. Yeah, well, he skated out of that one. Congratulations, Drake. <laughs> he that's... skated right into a lot of rap beef. Though. Right, he's got his own <laughs> rap beef going on. Yeah. All right, guys, that's oh, geez. your Baker Buzz. Coming up in the next Baker Buzz. Rihanna is apparently desperate for a daughter. Oh, boy, and Diddy's former nanny drops <gasps> a lawsuit. One down, five more to Whoa. go. Uh, that's called uh, getting paid off. Okay, we'll talk about that in the next Baker <laughs> Buzz, guys. This is SF Local. Uh, but it seems like she was a learning class and how much she's going. All right, <laughs> I got something here. Eric B, you start. It's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with the Baker Boys in the morning. Thank you guys for tuning in. Well, it's approved. We talked about it a couple weeks back. The Metropolitan Oakland International oh. Airport took a major step towards becoming the quote unquote San Francisco Bay. Oakland International Airport. So now I hear that the SF Airport is maybe suing them suing for the them. name. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what? our name. Yeah, they're they're Are trying you serious? to. Yeah, the SF Airport is now trying to sue Oakland for trying to change change their name to that. Yeah. Wow. Well, they basically think that it's going to bring a lot more people into that airport. Um, I, I don't know how changing the name I don't brings think that's more people change to come to the airport. No. I don't think that will make a difference. If but you don't change your name. you? I mean, at, at flying in and out of the Bay Area, you you'll you'll use any airport, whichever fits right. you, right? Yeah, right. I just always use Oakland. Okay, because well, Oakland is small. It's you know, it's easy. You you don't have that SFO crazy traffic, and you know, trying to get through TSA, like you know, it's just it's simple. All right, well, guys, looking forward to that new name, San Francisco Bay. Oakland International Airport. You know what they should do? What? They should make disc records. There you go. <laughs> one airport to the other one, and we'll have a whole... Do a whole rap battle. A whole rap battle. Whoever wins the, the battle... Gets the name. That's, gets the name, yeah. I like that, Eric B. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's thinking on your feet. Yes, right there. I agree. Ari, pay attention to that man right there. Right. <laughs> what is your jab? 100%, 100 throwbacks. throwbacks. <laughs> Let the zebras out. <laughs> Bring out the cows. Uh, it's like Live Nation is taking a big hit. <laughs> Her Draco, the ruler's family, just won a $40 million lawsuit on his death uh, once upon a, well, once upon a time in Los Angeles. Okay, let's go. That's wild. Eric. It's a wonderful Wednesday at the Baker Boy Show. 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. All right, so you guys know I'm getting my puppy yes. today, yeah. this I feel evening. like she's been on her way for like three months. I know. <laughs> so, so who did you get the smuggler across the nation? Yeah, you um, you basically a hired a coyote. You know that, right? <laughs> you hired a coyote to smuggle your dog from Atlanta to She's California, the Underground mean. Railroad. Oh she got my her papers. Gosh, yes, yeah, she has papers. She an and now she's citizen? not in the Underground Railroad. What is wrong with y'all? So you brought her up. Why? Well, I brought her up because she's coming today, and it's so funny because we keep going back and forth about her name. Okay, okay. I thought you said it was Aya Oakland. Yeah. So we, <laughs> I'm gonna name her Metropolitan. <laughs> so um, her name was Aya, but my daughter is like adamant about calling her Honey. Well, she can call her honey if she wants to call she her honey. She was like, I want her name to be Honey Lavender. And she's got like a lilac coat. So okay. it kind of makes sense. That makes but, sense, yeah. Yeah. But um, apparently, I, I found a list and I want to share with you guys. It's the 2024's wackiest pet names. Let's go. Okay. All right. Chug Chug Pickles. That's cute. Little Richard Simmons sweat into the oldies. That's so hot. <laughs> Molly from corporate. No. <laughs> That's like uh, Becky with the good hair. Right. I, I like that. I like that. that should, oh, my God. That should be my dog's name because she got that good coat. <laughs> Becky with the good coat. Uh, Mr. Pizza Puff. Nice. That's cool. Itty Bitty Kitty Committee. Now, these are uh, pet names, right? Yes. So pet names. That's okay. a long name for All a right. pet. <laughs> Steph Purry. Ah, uh, that's cool. That was funny. That's cool. Frosted Mini Wheats. Nice. Thor Abindum, a bit, wait, too Thor, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's too long, God of Bunder, uh, Skull Crusher, Snoop, no, Snoop Hoggy Hog. <laughs> Whoa. Right, so we're talking about funny pet names, yeah, right? Yeah, silly yeah. pet names. Wow. So maybe I'll name her uh, Becky with the good hair. Or by, uh, by Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Oh, my God. Bye, that's, Felicia. That's funny. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Has anybody seen what? Bye, Felicia? <laughs> <laughs> and then when you when she's outside, you call for her. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Everyone's all looking. <laughs> okay, there you are. Thank you very much. <laughs> Silly pet names. 102 jams, 100% throwbacks. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Our number two. You had way too much fun with that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. <clears throat> What's got, up, Let's Roll? What the F News. Uh, you got what the I F got news? what the F news okay. go.
It is a wonderful Wednesday here at the Baker Boys Daily Show. But coming up, we yeah. got a What the F News. Have you guys ever had acupuncture before? Yes. Uh, yes, okay. I have. Can you imagine that this acupuncturist put needles in you and then went ha- and went home for a nap? Oh, boy. What? <laughs> that, sounds ha- like, that sounds like something I would do. It, ha- <laughs> it happened. This is What the F News coming up next, guys. What would you do? That's a good name, right? Dragon. That's funny. What? Sweaty pancakes. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a The Baker Boys on your radio, Eric V and Nick V. And it's time for your what the F news. Uh, we're talking about an acupuncturist yes. who evidently left needles in his patient Patients, yeah. while he went home to take a little nap. A little nap. The a patient <laughs> uh a patient of state board certified acupuncturist Dave Wang had to call police last year when Wang inserted needles into him, went home, took a nap. After waiting an hour and a half for Wang to come back, the patient took the needles wow. out on his own and called the sheriff. Wow. <gasps> right? According, no. According to the state board, the board of medicine charged Wang with professional incompetence, but he ended up with only a warning and a $500 fine. What? You can't I do mean, this. they should have fined him a lot more than $500. Take away his license. Yeah. Come on, man. I've done acupuncture, and like even they leave it like 30, 45 an hour, whatever time it was. Yeah. And every second seems so long. Excruciating. Really? Yeah. When I did it, it didn't it did I didn't really feel it, but well, I'm, probably because he fell asleep. Well, my back's a little fatter than yours, probably. So. <laughs> they didn't put it in a deep enough area. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, too much cushion for the pushing. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> something <laughs> got blocked. <laughs> well, watch out for those sleepy acupuncturists coming to a city near you. Oh yeah. my! There's your gosh. what the f news, Baker Boys Daily. All right, anything goes here. Uh, random story. Mm-hmm. That's your fill brain. Let's see here. Um. I got oh, the shit. most expensive places to live. Um, oh, I got something here. Okay. Um, national. Eric, you start. All right. 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with your brand new morning show, Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. What up? Well, the Olympics are coming up, and the Olympians are slamming Nike for skimpy team USA women in track field uniforms. Oh, oh no boy. way. See if you can pull that up. I want to see how skimpy they are. Coming oh, up next, boy. We're Nick's trying fi- to look. Well, I want to see what, what, the, what the big issue is. Coming yeah. up next, 102 Jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. That, was, that was like a tease. Yes, a tease, yeah. Eric. Boys. It's a local, though. It's not a no, local. No, it's not a local. Oh, it's a national. Okay. It was a tag local. I started with 102 Jams, didn't I? I? I think you're losing it here. I think you're... I did? 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with your brand new morning sure show. Did. Eric well, V, Nick V, and Ari it? Rose. What are you? Well, the Olympics are coming up and they... Obviously so, you weren't, so let's do it again. No, no, we just start here. Eric All V, right. Nick V, and Ari <laughs> Rose. What up? Well, the Olympics... Uh, what is it? Olymp- Skippy USA. Skippy Olympics. USA. That was like Olympics. a tease. All right. Eric V and Nick V, evidently people are complaining about the Olympians Not outfits people, now. people, the Olympians themselves. Oh, they're complaining about Yeah, it. on Thursday, Nike unveiled the Team USA track and field uniforms, and they designed for the 2024 Paris Games, and people have been quick to call them skimpy. Pretty much. Mm. The men's uniforms have a high thigh, length short, okay. and a full coverage tank top. While the women's style is... Oh, Jesus. They're like in a bathing <laughs> suit. It's like a bathing suit. Yeah. I'm not running in no goddamn bathing suit. Whoa, you can't say that on the radio, bro. Yeah. I can't. No. Why? Yeah. You just can't. <laughs> you can't. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not wearing no... Damn. Okay. So anyway, the men's uniform have the high uh, length shorts, covered tank top, and the women's style is high cut and hip bearing. <laughs> It's high cut and hip bearing, uh-huh. leading critics to question the personal grooming athletics wearing them will need to do. One of the girls says, "Woohoo! My hoo ha is going to be out." Wow. She's uh, the long jump hopeful Tara Davis Whittle. No, and, this thing is crazy. Look at this; it's so high cut, like yeah. it's very, 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 very revealing. Very revealing. revealing. Yes. It's like a little strip for the gal. Yeah, it's a little too small. It's, I think. Yeah. So Roger Dodger said the OG Olympics was done naked. So what? So, yeah, Come the original, on. the, right. the but, original but see, Olympics. Here is like, my thing is like, why can't they just have the same thing as the guys? Why can't they just have like some tight shorts with the tight tank top? So, That's you a good know, question. Yeah, why like, not? Because I feel like even no matter how um, like in shape you are, don't your legs like your thighs chafe? You know, especially if you're running. Yeah, they, they definitely chafe. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like a, a bathing suit would just be uncomfortable for these 
gals. Yeah, you might as well be out there in a bathing suit doing the high jump. You don't want to do the high jump in that. They should give them the option of having like the men's shorts, but a little bit, maybe just a little bit shorter. But why do they even have to be shorter? I mean, if they want to have them longer, it may may stop the aerodynamics. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. And why aren't some Olympians actually helping them design these things? Come right. on, yeah. Nike. Right, right. Come on, man. You got to be keep it n- neutral and keep it, um, you know, fresh for everybody, and not mm-hmm. put somebody out there dressed like that when their thing could just pop out. It's not right. cool. Anyway, Baker Boys Daily. Their thing. <laughs> <laughs> Two like, damn, girls don't have things. Side, you know what I mean? Side yeah. bush gonna be out. Fuck it. <laughs> somebody <laughs> said, bro, if, you're, if, you're, if your hoo ha is popping out of that thing, it's gonna be. It's Pretty big hoo-ha. Nah. By the way, I don't think you're paying attention because you don't have you're, your headphones, but I keep on keep tapping. tapping. Am I tapping? You are. Yeah. I didn't see it. We feel it. We hear it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Dropped your damn phone, fool. This is SF Local. <laughs> no, it got stuck. This thing got stuck on here. Oh, is it? it it's this. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's why I was like trying to grab <laughs> it. All right. Uh, all right. Room. Ready? You got SF? Yeah. I mean, it's just a conversation. It's just a topic. Eric? Yep. 102 jams, 100% throwbacks, throwbacks on a wonderful Wednesday. Do you guys sweat when you sleep? No. Yeah, actually, I have. No, I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes I get a cold sweat. Do you ever, like, get, like, hot, though? Like, does your body your body run hot? Uh, I'm Yeah, I'm normally hot anyway. I, I like it a certain temperature, yes. How do you ask? Well, there are endless sleep hacks that promise to help get a good night's sleep, and many of those, you know, obviously everyone's finding these on TikTok. Okay. But this tip apparently, according to TikTok, promises to give you the best sleep of your life. Let's are you go. guys ready? Let's hear it. It says to wrap a sweatshirt around your head. I've heard about this. Really? Yeah, I don't want anything wrapped around my head. For what? They said it's so comfortable, I don't know you even know how to explain it. This girl, this video has gotten over 19 million views, and people are saying it works wonders. Okay. Um, Gailey wraps a sweatshirt over her eyes and around her head and then loops the sleeves under her chin. Okay. Her eyes and mouth, of course, are not covered. While some people comment the video calling the hat crazy and suffocating, there may be truth to it. Um, but it's kind of like swaddling a baby is what a sleep expert, Dr. Jessica Andres. Said. All right. Well, just listening to the description and how you're doing it, I can see how the the sweatshirt or the hoodie can um, give you support for your neck. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's what pillows are f- used for, really, right. to keep you lined up. Right. Mm-hmm. When you put your pillow on there, it helps you line up your right your spine and everything right. like that. So I can see how that could work. Yeah. I actually want to use that hack in the airplane. Oh. oh, right. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, when you're sleeping, sometimes all the time actually, they might I, think you're a terrorist though. No, 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 no. Once <laughs> I get, you know, <laughs> once I get into, I'm just saying, they might. Hey, no, you're the one that has issues with the terrorists. I'm, issues not, I'm the one that gets all pulled over all the time. Yeah, you know what I mean. You, you look suspect. They, they think I look. Yeah. So whatever. all right. So that's a nice little sleep hack right there. Do you have anything else? No, that was it. Well, we'll take it. Baker Boys Daily, <laughs> one or two jams, hundred percent throwbacks. throwbacks. I was like, dude, what? trying to say turbans on people's heads. <laughs> true. All right, I got something right here. SF Local, Eric? Yeah. 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the morning. I am guilty of doing this. Who else goes grocery shopping on an empty stomach? Oh, Not no. That's me. the worst time no. to go. <laughs> you will go broke. Right. That's what it says. A new study <sighs> reveals that doing your grocery shopping when you're hungry could cost you an extra $26 per trip. Yeah. More than that, bro. <laughs> I believe it. I'll grab this. I'll grab yep. this. All right. So I don't even go to the market that much. And when I do go, it's like a hundred and something dollars. And I don't even buy anything. Great poupon. I'm like, I'm, I did it. But I'm like, what did I buy this time? I don't even know what I bought. All right. Well, Why did you just say great poupon? Yeah. I said he's buying. <laughs> Grape Poupon. <laughs> no, I don't even like Grape Poupon. It finds that the average American shops for groceries twice a week and budgets mm-hmm. about $162 for the food. The most common must-have groceries are bread, 54%, eggs, meat, milk, bananas, mm-hmm. and coffee. Mm-hmm. That's right. everything I buy right? <laughs> every well, week. Yeah, but bread with gluten-free. What kind of gluten-free bread do you have? Um, I get the one at Trader Joe's. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. So don't go shopping on, on an empty, empty stomach. stomach. You're going to wind up losing all of your money. Yep. One or two jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. All right. Our number three, Baker Buzz. Uh, what did you tease? Mm. Or did you, te- you teased uh, Rihanna, right? Yeah. Rihanna. All right, so and then you teased I, something. No, he teased oh, something, Oh, you did? Too. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think, oh, yeah, did he's. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so I'll start it then. All right, Eric V, you are on. 
It's a wonderful Wednesday at the Baker Boys Daily Show. Appreciate y'all tuning on in. Coming up, this hour's Baker Buzz. Rihanna is apparently desperate for a daughter. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. More kids in the oven. And Diddy's former nanny drops a lawsuit. Ooh. Why? Why would she do I that? So wonder. rare good news for Diddy? Mm. Wow, man. <laughs> it's Baker Boys Daily coming up next. What up, Radio God? That's Rick Aaron. Oh, what up, man? What's up, party people? The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Today is Jennifer Garner's birthday. Ooh, I love Jennifer Garner. It was uh, Ben Affleck's ex, right? Yeah. And he has kids with her, right? I yeah. think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, happy birthday, homegirl. What's your favorite uh, role from her? Do you know? A movie? Oh, geez. All right, never she, mind. Yeah. Baker Boys. Day. <laughs> I love Jennifer Garner. No, I Garner. do, though. I follow her. She's really dope. She's really a dope person. What movie? No, I'm just saying in person, like in general, like I follow her. She's right. like a dope person. Thank you. Happy birthday, Jennifer Gardner. You got a follower over here, Ari Rose. <laughs> Somebody said Electra. <laughs> jo- a, she's is. in a lot of wrong. 13 coms. going on 30, Lit Dad. Uh, Lit oh, Dad, yeah, did you get 30. your shirt, bro? Did you send him his shirt, Nick B? Lit Dad? Yeah. Oh, no, I had a problem with his, uh, uh, his address. I told oh, you that. God. Yeah, 13 going on 30. You so. got another address you could send me, bro? I think it might have to be sent from somewhere else. It's not pulling up in my system. My Spotify won't rec- uh, Shopify does not recognize his oh, okay. address. I will show you again. What's up, AJ? Like me to do that. What's up, party people? The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building coming straight ahead. Wow, looks like Diddy skated by this one. There's a former nanny that dropped her lawsuit. I wonder why. Hmm. Mm. And Rihanna is desperate for a daughter. She is, yes, wanting more kids. Okay. All right, that's coming up in the Baker Buzz, guys. Hold on. One or two jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Shirt, you never got yours. You didn't drop a five piece, fool. Baker Boys on your radio. It's time for your Baker Buzz this hour. All right, so Rihanna has two sons with uh, ASAP, ASAP Rocky. Rocky. Right. And so she said she has left the family planning to a higher power, although she prays nightly for a baby girl. How sweet is that? Yeah, so ASAP and Rihanna are raising a pair of boys that are both still in diapers. And Whoa. when asked about expanding the family, Rihanna said she's leaving the number of kids to as many as God wants us to have. How about that? Damn. Yeah, she said, I would try for my girl, but of course, if it's another boy, it's another boy. Once she's done making babies, Rihanna plans to... To visit the cosmetic surgeon she said i don't want implants i just want my breast lift <laughs> wow well but, good luck so to can them. you explain yeah. the difference between just the breast lift and implants then for me yeah breast uh lift is like you know sometimes when you nurse yeah they drop a little bit right. or a lot of it okay. and so a lift they would just not put anything inside they would just like cut the skin and kind of like pull them back up Oh, okay. In a sense, like re put them where they're supposed Reposition to be. Reposition them back to where they were. Yes. So they gotcha. like, cut, you know, it's almost like when you get a tummy tuck, they cut the extra skin yes. and then make it tight. That's the same thing. Oh. And then if some people do a lift with an implant, so they do that and then put the implants in. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. All right. Balloons for everybody. And good luck <laughs> for, for that baby girl to her. Yes. So Diddy's former nanny drops a lawsuit. He got some good news, apparently. The hip hop mogul's former, former nanny is dropping it against him. Mm. She sued him for wrongful wow. termination back in 2022. Alleges that she was let go because she got pregnant. Outside of marriage? Oh. oh. What? Okay. So he was mean to her because of that? Oh, you're pregnant and you're not married? And he got rid of her. And meanwhile, wow. did he argue that she hadn't performed her job to his standards? Mm. And the lawsuit was dismissed with prejudice, meaning that she could not refile the suit in the future. And it is not known if Diddy and his nanny reached a settlement, but most likely because she probably knows a lot as well. Oh, yeah. Everyone's the part getting of this a cashed story, out. Yeah, the part of the story makes me laugh. It says, did he argue... She hadn't performed up to his standards. His standards, right? Yeah. So what are your standards, brother? What do we need to be doing as your nanny, sir? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So I think he probably paid her off for sure, so she yeah. could drop the lawsuit. Yeah, and Just take one thing off his off his plate. You know. Yeah, we're well, one down, about five more to go. Yeah. <laughs> Baker Boys Daily. There's your Baker Buzz. Uh, SF locals too. I just have like a 